Hello YouTube, we are on the real programming channel, it is about HTML and CSS. My name is Andre. this is our 53 lesson. I greet you, we will talk about getting animated with elements. Chapter 9, the box model. Let's go. And uh, to do advanced web construction, you really need to know your building's materials. In this chapter, we are going to take a close look at our building materials the HTML elements, we are going to put block and inline elements right under the microscope and see what they are made of. You will see how you can control just about every aspect of how an element is constructed with CSS, but we don't stop there. You also see how you can give elements unique identities uh, and uh, if that weren't enough, you are going to learn when and why you might want to use multiple tall sheets. So turn the page and start getting animated with elements. The loan gets an upgrade. You come a long way and eight chapters and so has a heteros loan. In fact, over the next two chapters we are given it a total upgrade with all new content for the main page and rest pile in from scratch. And just to entice you, we are going to give you a little sneak peek before we even get started check this out on this page you uh, find the new must style it and style it alone page with all the new co content on the next page you will find the stylized version that we're going to create by the end of the next chapter the loan guys have supplied a lot of new text describing the loan and what it offers they've uh, included a set of Elixir specials for the week and they even uh, let visitors sample some of the music that is played and the long each week a common request to customers. Finally, that got some legalese in the footer of the page with the copyright. We've got headings that match the size, color theme uh, and the aquamarine. The fonts are also uh, very Readable sensei of this paragraph has been highly stylized, which helps set it off from the text and gives the page an attractive look. It also looks uh, like the font is a serif font, which is different from the main text. The elixirs have been uh, dramatically restyled into an appetizing display of dreams. The elixirs have also been moved over to the side. How did that happen? The new and improved ultra stylish loan. The music uh, as this and artist are styled number two, and the footer is uh, contoured and dice plate in a small form. Not too snappy. Now, the long design might be attended on the well ultra stylish side for you, but hey. It is long and we are sure that you can see this design is starting to look downright sophisticated. Just think what the same technicals could do for your pages. Well, after this, this chapter and the next designs like this are going to be easily within your reach. Setting up the new long. Before we start the mayor construction, let's get familiar with the long. Here is what you need to do. 1. Take a look at the chapter 9 long folder and you'll find the file on HTML with all new content. Open the file in your editor and have a look around. Everything should look familiar. Add paragraphs, a few images and leave. You are going to spend most of the chapter adding the style to this HTML. It is uh, two steps, second steps. So you need a place for your CSS, you are going to create all new styles for the loan in the style sheet file on CSS. So you will find your link element in the head of the long HTML. It is still there, but the previous version of the long CSS style sheet is gone. Look on sublimate text. Remember, this link element tells the browser to look for an external style sheet called long CSS. 3. 
Next, you need to create the new long CSS in the chapter 9 long folder. This file is going to hold all the new CSS for the new long. Starting with a few simple upgrades. Now you're all ready to start styling the long. Let's set a few rules to your CSS there just to get some basics out of the way, like the font family size and some colors uh, that will immediately improve the long and give you a good reviews from the last chapter. So open your long CSS file and add the following rules. Here is the default font size for the page. We are going to go with the sans serif font family. For the long, we have picked a few font alternatives and ended the declaration with the generate, generic sans serif font. We are going to set the color of the H1 and H2 elements to an aquamarine to match the glass in the logo. Now let's get some reasonable heading sizes for H1 and H2 since we are setting two different sizes for this. We needed separate rules and they can't add them to the combined rule for H1 and H2. Okay, a very quick test drive. Let's do a quick test drive just to see how these styles affect this page. Make sure you made all the changes, uh, then save and test. Headings are no sans serif and color that matches the logo, creating a theme all for the page. Paragraphs text is also sans serif since every element inherits the body's font family property. The H2 headings is also styled with a new color and sans serif bodies a tad smaller. We haven't applied any styles to the H3, so it just inherits the font family property from body. One more adjustment. Where going to make one more adjustment to the one before we move on the start making some bigger changes. This advantageous um, adjustment involves a new property you haven't seen before, but uh, at the point you got enough experience under your belt, they were not going to treat you white kit and gloves every time a new property comes along. So just jump in and give it a try. Here is uh, what, what we are going to do. We are going to adjust the line heat of the text on the entire page so that there is more vertical space between each line. To do that, we are at a line heat property in the body rule. Increasing the line, line heat for of your text can improve readability. It also gives you another way to provide the contrast between different parts of your page. You will see how that works in a bit. Here's where changing the space between each line to 1.6 m. In other words, 1.6 times the font size. So, let's, about, let's talk about checking out the new line head. As you might have guessed, the line head property loves you to specify the amount of vertical space between each line of your text. Like other fonts related to properties, you can specify the line height in pixels you are using an EM or person value that's relative to the font size. Let's see what the effect of the line height property is on the long. Make sure you add the line height property to your CSS file and then save. You should see the line heat increase when you refresh. Using the line heat property, we will increase the space between each line of text from the default to 1.6 m before and after. The space between lines is now as leading, pronounced leading in the publishing industry. The line heat property is inherited so by setting it in the body, all the elements on the page now have a line height of 1.6 m. Exercise try a few different values for line height like 200%, 5 m and 20 px to see the effect. Which looks the best, the worst, which uh, is most readable. When uh, you're done, make sure you change the line height back to 1.6 m and 
getting ready for some major renovations. We'll talk about this in the next lesson. And this is our 53 lesson over. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. Put likes, share with friends, comment, eat bananas, chocolate and nuts. Drink more water for the effective work of our brains. Bye.